Mirror Connect is a control appliance used in conference rooms, meeting rooms, offices, and huddle spaces to control equipment in the room, including audio DSPs, video codecs, displays, video switchers, and more. Mirror Connect is configured through Mirror Portal, which is accessible through your browser. Mirror Connect requires no programming, just an easy setup process provides a professionally designed user interface for end users, as we'll see. Mirror Connect has a 10-inch touchscreen on the front and has a network connection and is powered by its Ethernet interface with PoE on the rear. There's a battery in Mirror Connect and support for Wi-Fi if you need to move it around during meetings. There's also a Kensington lock socket on the rear panel if you need to secure the unit to the table. Mirror Connect controls equipment over the network, and for devices that don't have Ethernet interfaces, global caches, IP to RS-232, contact closure, and IR interfaces are supported. To get started, log into your Mirror Portal account. You'll need to create one the first time. Once you're logged in, add your customer's organization name, site, and location, and then add a room. The room name you choose will appear on the control screen. Next, you pair Mirror Connect to the room you've created in Mirror Portal by powering up Mirror Connect and following the on-screen instructions. Select the language, select the network interface, wired or wireless, we'll use wired in this example, and then you'll see a unique pairing code. Mirror Connect needs to have access to the internet to get that pairing code. Enter the pairing code in Mirror Portal, and now the Mirror Connect is associated with that room. We see a message on Mirror Connect that it's been paired successfully, and we can press Finish. Now that Mirror Connect is paired with a room, we'll add equipment we want to control to the room in Mirror Portal and set up any control points. These will populate the user interface associated with Mirror Connect. To add equipment, select from the equipment list and enter the IP addresses and any credentials required to connect to the equipment. The equipment needs to have Telnet enabled so Mirror Connect can talk to it over the network. There's an admin guide that has more specific information about the setup process, capabilities, and instructions for enabling Telnet on specific equipment. If you don't have real equipment or just want to experiment, you can choose to simulate equipment by checking the Simulate box before you hit Add Equipment. After entering the IP address and credentials, select Add Equipment to add the equipment to the room. Once the equipment is added, Mirror Connect will attempt to connect and provide status as to whether it can control the device. If it can't communicate with the device, double check the IP address and also make sure Telnet is enabled. If it can connect but can't control the device because the control points need to be configured, edit the equipment and navigate to the audio control section. With a DSP audio device, you typically will have a mute, volume control, and a telephony interface. For advanced applications, you can configure assistive listening, overflow rooms, sound reinforcement, and audio input selectors. With many of the supported DSPs, you can click in the control field to see a list of control points that would have been detected by Mirror Connect. Select a value or enter a control name manually. This could be an instance tag, a virtual channel name, a name component, or a block name depending upon the DSP device you're using. We'll select mics for the microphone. We'll select amplifier for the room volume. And we'll add a telephony interface. And when done, we'll select update equipment. And you can see the equipment is properly controlled now with the green check mark. And the user interface appears on Mirror Connect. After setting up the DSP, let's add a simulated video codec, in this case a Polycom Group Series 500. On the video inputs to the codec, we'll select a laptop connected to the HDMI input. We can add a second line of text about PowerPoint or something to help users understand what this option is when they look at it on the display menu on Mirror Connect. Let's also add a display to the room.
For the inputs to the display, we can select local sources and use the display to switch those sources, or we can also add the video codec as an external switcher and use that switching capability to automatically start and stop content when selected. This will make it easy for users to manage content in the room. If we have another video input we want to select and only play locally, we can add that to the display and label it as TV Tuner, for example. And add a second line of text called Comcast Cable to make it clear to users what this input is. Once we've finished adding equipment to the room, we can review the user interface that's been created on Mirror Connect. Here you see there's a dialer with both voice and video dial buttons. On the left are different functions including recent calls, camera positioning, and a display menu. And on the right are audio controls including microphone mute and room volume. On the display menu, we see the different sources we've configured on one menu. Selecting any of the inputs will power on the display automatically and select that source whether it's local to display, such as the Comcast TV input, or on the video codec, the laptop input, for example. We see the second line of text we added to the laptop input when setting up the video codec. The red circle with the white square shows us that content has started showing from the laptop through the codec. We can customize colors, the background image, and the logo on Mirror Connect by editing the site settings. By working at the site level, all rooms in the site will get the same background and logo. You can edit the visual theme and upload background and logo images. Once we hit save, the background image and logo will go to all those rooms in that site. Now let's select the room again and look at the remote control capability. As the creator of this organization, Site and Room, you have full administrative rights to the room, including remote control access. If you have a Mirror Connect paired to the room like we do, you can remotely control it from Mirror Portal, and you'll see the same user interface as users in the room. The remote control feature is a great way to provide remote services for your users. Any changes you make to Mirror Connect, adding equipment, changing background images and colors, will be reflected on the remote control page. There are also other settings you can set at the site level, including enabling text messages if equipment goes offline, the default displayed screen on Mirror Connect, it doesn't have to be the dial pad, and adding a power off button to Mirror Connect to power down the room and restore the default gain and mute settings that you'd like. There are also room settings, including the dial in phone number to display on the Mirror Connect screen. Once you set the phone number, you can see it updated on Mirror Connect, and you can also see it immediately on the remote control version of Mirror Connect. Mirror Connect does what it does very well because of the simplicity designed into it. While some installations will need a fully programmed controller, many don't, and this is where Mirror Connect is perfect. For more information, see our training videos and administrator's guide on our website. If you have any questions, please contact your local salesperson or reach out to us directly at sales at aviosystems.com.